Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Shonda, AKA The Bald and the Beautiful. I am coming at you today with my very first YouTube video. In this video, I'll be showcasing my perfume collection. This collection I started back in uh, fall of 2019. I started off with about maybe three to four bottles. And at that time I was satisfied switching between the uh, different scents. Uh, I since have grown my collection tremendously. I currently have, uh, by my calculations, 105 full bottles of perfume. I also have a total of 85 uh, decants and, and or travel size perfumes. And my want list is <laughs> greater than the two of those combined. So before I get started in my video, I do want to uh, promote uh, my friend uh, Ashley's uh, business. Uh, as you can see, maybe here in the background, I do have two of her products. One is her linen spray, and another is a candle of hers. I am going to link her website down in the bio, so be sure to go ahead and check out her website and make a purchase or two. The candles and the room sprays are excellent. Um, I do love them uh, both. Uh, also, I will be I will be linking her Instagram page as well as her website below. And I'll be linking my Instagram page. Uh, so if you don't mind, go over there and give me a follow. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, uh, like the video, comment, and also subscribe. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so I am going to just give a brief overview of the collection, and then I'll get into them individually. Don't mind that little bag over there. Uh, but this is my collection. Um, in this case, I got from uh, Ikea. I will link that below if anyone is interested. It does have a spot where you can um, uh, insert lights. Um, but because lights uh, can affect the um, your actual perfume, I chose not to include any lights uh, in my display case. But uh, these, this case is four shelves. And I have my perfumes lined up, uh, five rows of five. This first row here um, would be uh, the bees. Uh, my bond number nine fragrances uh, are the first two. The first one is New York Nights here. Uh, then I have, I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but it's Nuit's de Noho. Um, I said before that I have them in five rows of five, but this one actually only has four. It has empty space here because that is reserved for my next bond purchase, which is going to be Tribeca. Uh, next, I have my Burberry by Burberry, of course. Uh, my Burberry Black. Here is uh, Burberry Her. Uh, Mula Mula by Byron Perfumes. And I don't know if I said it, but they're in alphabetical order by the, uh, the brand name. Uh, next, I have Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Over here, I have Le Panther by Cartier. Next up is, if you can see that, uh, Chanel Chance. That one is the Eau Fraiche. I may be telling them not. Hold on, I'm gonna pull this one out. Uh, yeah, Eau Fraiche. Okay, got that. Um, next here, I have uh, my Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, of course. This one is uh, Chanel Gabrielle. The Essence version. A little dusty there, y'all. We're gonna have to take care of that. Um, next, I have uh, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. This is the La Prive. This is the bedtime scent. It's made to be worn, you know, at night. Uh, behind that, I have the Coco Chanel. This is just the regular chance. No, I lied. This is the Eau Vive. I apologize. This one is the Otondre. So here now I have Chloe by Chloe. I have Pure Poison, goodness gracious, this. Pure Poison by Christian Dior. This one is, when I talked about the first couple of perfume bottles I had, this is one of them. As you can see, it's been uh, used pretty much and this one, because all the bottles look the same, this is the Jador Enjoy. This one is just 
Jador. And I believe this one is Jador Absolute. Let me, yeah. Don't want to tell any lies here. Oh, sorry about that. Then next I have uh, Miss Dior Bloom Bouquet. I have my very first, <laughs> very small bottle of Clive Christian. This is 1872 for women. Uh, next up I have Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Sorry for the noise. I have the only one uh, in tips. Then back behind that is just the one. Okay, so that is all of the first shelf. Next here, I am squatting, and I'm going to have to do some dusting. This is the one by Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana before them. Dolce & Gabbana 3 La Impatrice. This is Donna Karen. Uh, what, what is it? Something cashmere. Y'all know what it is, don't I can't remember the name. Uh, this is Amo by Salvatore Ver Ferragamo. Uh, this next section is a section that I really, really love. I have a thing for the C collection. And this is by ooh, Giorgio Armani. I'm squatting and my knees hurt. I ain't got to make knees. So this is the latest one. This is the... Phew! I had to get a seat, y'all. I ain't got to make knees. Like I said, I'm... I ain't no spring chicken either, but <laughs> this is the uh, latest C, which is um, C Intense. I got this a couple months ago. I did have my name engraved on it. Um, I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to look, but it isn't like they did a, they did a, uh, too good of a job, too good of a job. Ooh, can't talk. Um, but that scent, I do love that scent. This is also C Intense. I don't recall what year this came out, but they are different scents. Some of the notes are different, or the concentrations are different. Let's see. This is, should look great, this is the original C. This is C La Profume. Also a different scent, looks the same, but it's different. Um, this one I'm pretty sad about because I recently found out that they are discontinuing it. This is the C Fiori. Um, I went on to the Armani site as soon as I heard that they were discontinuing it, discontinuing it, and it was already gone. And I can probably purchase it from somewhere else, but I really want to have my name engraved in it. So, um, either I'm going to have to use that bottle sparingly or I'm just going to have to get over it and... Uh, buy the bottle from someone else. Uh, this is C Passion. That is <laughs> all of my C perfumes by Giorgio Armani. This one is Aqua di Giola, also a Giorgio Armani perfume. Uh, next up, let's see. This is Gucci. I didn't even try to pronounce it, y'all. Just smells good. <laughs> um, Another Gucci, this is Gucci LT, Absolute for Femme. I have Gucci LT for Femme. Next is Gucci LT Eau de Toilette for Femme. Uh, Gucci Blue, the, what is that? Porfino Di Fiori. The original Gucci Bloom. Uh, Twilly the Hermes. Mm -mm. This is another Twilly the Hermes or Porve. Porve. I speak English only, y'all, so I don't know. There we go, though. <laughs> um, next, I have a Jimmy Choo fragrance. Don't ask me what this is. Let me see if I can find it on here. Um, I don't know. It's a Jimmy Choo. Um, it's a new scent. I do know that. <laughs> um, this is Jimmy Choo's latest. Um, I want you. 
I'm making all kinds of noise, y'all. I'm sorry. Jimmy Choo Illicit. Trying to go gentle. Uh, this is Kiali Vanilla 28. If y'all see these bottles with oil on them, I usually <laughs> use an oil, um, body oil. I apply that first and then I'll wrap my perfume and apply it after. So my hands are oily when I'm touching the bottle. So that's what that is. Um, this is Killian uh, Black Phantom, one of my favorite Killians. I'm going to say this one is my favorite because I got it recently for Mother's Day. This is Rolling in Love by Killian. This is Woman in Gold by Killian. This was my first purchase. Um, I actually smelled this one when I started, well, before I started collecting, I smelled this one um, in Charlotte. I was with um, uh, an associate of mine, and at that time, I saw it. It was in the black bottle, but when I ordered it, they had switched the bottles, and they are now in the white bottle. I also understand that the formulation has changed. Um, it had been so long ago since I smelled it, so I don't know if I smell anything different um, than to now, but um, I do love that scent. This is, I believe this is my second Killian. Good girl gone bad. Uh, this one is Love. Uh, Love Don't Be Shy. Uh, the extreme version. Um, I don't own a full bottle of the regular Love. I do plan on adding it to my collection, but uh, this one came out and for some reason I felt like I just had to have it. I do have a couple of um, travel sprays of the uh, original love but again i do plan on adding a full bottle of love to my collection this one phew baby when i tell you it's so good i don't know why <laughs> it smells really really boozy i loved it so much as you can see i'm not even partially done with the bottle but i have ordered a second bottle because i just don't want to be without it. I tried to convince my son to go in with me to go and get a, um, I guess the decant bottle was like $700 some dollars and he was like, mm, hell no mom. But um, one day. <laughs> uh, next here is also by Killian. This is um, Fun Things Happen After Sunset. This next one is Princess. Absolutely love this fragrance. Um, I don't think, I can't recall if um, I got it from Sephora. Um, I don't know if maybe they didn't have the big bottle when I got mine, but I also found out that they're um, they're not going to, I guess, not going to restock it on their site, but Killian is going to stock it uh, only. But it's currently sold out on their site, but I do need to get a big bottle of this because I don't want to be without it. All right, let's see here. Next, we have La Vielle classic scent very lovely and we have la Vell intense one the intense version love it this one is also la Vell. um kind of crazy to have well i guess it's not but i was gonna say it's kind of crazy to have two perfumes that are the same i bought this on ulta's website because it had it marked down for like 67 dollars and um, it's by, uh, it's in collaboration with someone. So it's, it's just the bottle design that's different. But, um, you know, I got it for a lesser price and I don't have to repurchase that one for a while. So that's good. Uh, this next one, most people have a love-hate relationship with this uh, fragrance. This is uh, the Mason Francis Kirkjean uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. I do love it. Um, it doesn't last as long. I'm pretty sure you've heard that before as, um, as you would hope that it would for the price. But I do love this scent. Next up is Grease Baby. This is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Uh, also by Maison Francis Kirchon. Uh, that is a beautiful scent. I have tried the silver and I plan to add the silver to my collection. Just haven't done it yet. Um, I also plan to add the um, extract version of the 
uh, 540 to my collection. And I saw recently that they have the uh, the miniature bottles. Um, and because it is so pricey, more than likely, um, and since I have so many perfumes, I will be purchasing uh, the miniature version of that instead of a full bottle because I just have so many. There's really no point in me purchasing full bottles. Um, and that's another thing. Like the, <laughs> the bottle sizes in my collection do vary. I used to um, want to get uh, the larger size. This is an exception because I don't want to be without it. Maybe discontinued. But uh, for perfumes that have been a lot, have been around for a while, um, and something that you think you could probably get again in the future, for me, buying a smaller size makes more sense because I have so many. Um, buying a smaller bottle, I could probably get through it uh, way faster than I can a large bottle. It doesn't make sense to have all those, but. Um, <laughs> next up, uh, Marc Jacobs Perfect. Um, saw this, I uh, like the little charms on the top. I thought that was really cute, and it's a lovely scent. Um, uh, now Marc Jacobs with these flowers, honey, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't be knowing what's what. Okay, so this one has a name on it. This is the Marc Jacobs, um, Daisy Love, oh, so sweet. Um, I believe this next one. You know, which will make me out to be a lie. This next one, I don't think it has the name on it. So, yes, he's just Daisy Love, Mark Jacobs. So, I don't know. Um, they have so many. I don't be knowing what's what. But that was, I think this was my first uh, Mark Jacobs purchase. And you look at these flowers, child. Giving me problems. This was the latest Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs, oh, so fresh. So, um... That's a nice thing as well. I need to get some more out of that this uh, before the summer hits. Uh, this is uh, Emoshino. Uh, I think it's like toy something. I don't recall. My son bought this for me a couple years ago uh, for Christmas. Uh, I came with that bottle, that large bottle, as well as a smaller bottle. Uh, this is uh, Alien. By Mugler. Uh, first alien scent. Um, I had smelled the, I want to think it's Angel no, Angel Nova. Um, it's kind of like an oval shape maybe. Um, I can't describe it, but I smelled that and I absolutely hated it. I don't know what made me um, smell this one, but I actually, um, I actually like it. Um, and there are a couple others that I found that I like and I need to or want to add to my collection. I don't need anything, but I want to add it to my collection. This is Melrose Place by Way. Uh, I got this, hmm, I want to think for my birthday this year. Um, I don't know if I bought it or if my son bought it, but um, I don't recall. But this, um, I didn't expect much from it when I got it. It was a blind buy, but um, it's surprisingly long lasting as well as this one, uh, North Bondi. I do like it. All right, almost done with this uh, level or this uh, shelf. This is the Parfums de Marley. I don't know why my light went out, but um, we can still see here. Uh, Parfums de Marley de Lina. Love the bottle. She's so cute. Um, next up, we have Prada La Femme. This was a blind buy. I kept seeing people talk about this. Um, it wasn't very expensive. I got it on one of the discount sites. And um, I love the bottle and I love the scent. So it was so cheap, I wouldn't have been too hurt if I had not liked the scent. Uh, this next one is Brow Florin, I think it's Woman Intense. Um, again, you know, getting the small bottles because I have so many in my collection. That, no, Michelle, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and this one is just, sorry about that, it's just Brow Florin Woman. Oh, let's see if I can get that one making noise. Yes. All right, this, y'all is my very first egg. I was so proud of this thing. <laughs> it is Dates Delight by the House of Oud. Um, 
I ordered a perfume, I think, from uh, Crystal Fragrance. Um, I'm trying to think which one it was. What did I order? I think the Moolah Moolah. When I got the Moolah Moolah in, um, Crystal Fragrance included um, several yummy samples in the house. Okay, y'all, my, I'm recording on my phone. Um, phone got too hot, so it cut off. Anyway, um, I don't know where I stopped it with this one, but this was my first egg, like I said, um, I believe I said, by the House of Oud. Um, got a sample in a purchase, and within 30 minutes, I was ordering uh, the bottle because it, you know, it smells just that good. And I don't know why I'm using my right hand. I need to use my left hand to hold the phone. Um, I do want to... Um, get my hands on some more fragrances by the House of Oud because it smells really good. I keep hearing about um, one called What About Pop? So um, I'm going to see if I get my hands on a sample of that and then uh, we'll go from there. Now I'll make the seat drop because I need to get a little bit lower and the seat won't go down. Okay, that's fine. Um, this next section um, some perfumes that I really, really love. Um, a house that I have fallen in love with, and that is the house of Tiziana Terenzi. Uh, here we have, hmm, top one to come off. We have Kirk by Tiziana Terenzi. Love that. Um, next, oh, sorry. This is Tibet. If you um, go on to my Instagram, you'll see the unboxing uh, of Tibet. The presentation is Oh, so lovely. Like, so luxe. Can't get enough of this house. Uh, Deluxe. Or Deluxe. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. This was my first Tiziana Terenzi purchase. Absolutely love that scent. I have Casapia. I have some less I would pronounce it. Um, love it as well. And I forgot... Um, we are at capacity <laughs> in my display case. I'm just reaching behind me. I forgot about my latest. This one just came in a couple days ago. Um, again, y'all grease. I told y'all I just grabbed my bottles after I moisturized. Um, it has to be some little dog hair, y'all. Ratchet. Um, but this is Andromeda. I love this one. Um, this little label here is made out of leather, y'all. The top is gold. They're really, really heavy. Um, just amazing, amazing. Um, love that. And while I was grabbing back here, it made me think that I forgot. Well, made me realize I forgot to because again, we are at capacity. <laughs> I'm not gonna rearrange these things, and I'm not getting another shelf until I get at least 25 to 30 more perfumes. But um, this is also a y'all just dog. Yeah, I got a dog, y'all, and. Her hair is, I don't know if it was on my hand or if it was just on, the, I don't know. Anyway, y'all can see it's white. Forgive me. <laughs> but this is, um, I believe the pronunciation is Feb de Deciose, um by Christian Dior Paris. Um, once I get another case and rearrange everything, of course, it will be with the other Dior per perfumes. Um, and I got a small bottle of that because I um, couldn't find any samples anywhere and I did not want to buy a large bottle and not like it. Um, but with that purchase, um, also got this Sakura, Sakura, uh, by Christian Dior. I love this. I will be going, I'm buying a bottle of that. Um, and I also have, this is a Chanel fragrance. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I get this top off with one hand. I probably can't, but, oh, is that it? It's the intense version, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the intense version of the Coco Melon was there. Um, I was being cheap and didn't want to buy a whole, whole bottle if I had just bought the, you know, the regular Coco Chanel. Um, but, okay, let's see if we can get down to here. This is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme and Grease the Bottle because my hands are what I so grease to put these fragrances on. Um, this is Venetian Bergamot. I smelled this when, around the time when I was, um, around the time when I first smelled the Woman in Gold. And at that time, I liked it, but I hate to say I really don't care for this one too much. I will wear it. Um, a Tom Ford rep in Nordstrom in my area 
uh, told me what to mix it with. And I did it once and it was okay, but I'm still not the biggest fan. This one was my first time for it. Uh, Flor de Portofino Aqua. I bought a real big bottle. I've had this about, I know, three years, y'all. I don't really like it. I forgot. It's a note in here I discussed with my friend um, that I think is what's throwing me off. And I was also told um, what to mix this one with. Um, I'm going to keep trying it, but I might end up either giving it away or selling it because it ain't for me. Mm, the ratchet mess. This one is um, Tom Ford's The Little Blanc, the Eau de Parfum. Uh, I got a small bottle of this. Um, I'm going to have to probably invest in a bigger bottle. I do love it. Um, I love it so much. I don't know if I, I don't know what I was going through, but I bought a travel spray of it. And also had with my, um, my, um, travel sprays, well, other travel sprays in another container. Um, the Eau de Parfum version, or no, not the Eau de Parfum, sorry. The Eau de Toilet version. Um, yeah. So, next up... Also, Tom Ford, great bottle, Metallique, Metallique, however you want to pronounce it. I love that scent. Now, this one, this is my latest Tom Ford. Oh, Jesus, the fingerprints and the grease, Lord. So, Le Um, I actually purchased this um, as a gift for myself for Mother's Day. Uh, during the, the spring sale, I think they call it now. Y'all know this bottle is $350. So, you know, got my little 20% off because I am rouge. A couple weeks ago, I got a notification from Influencer. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but I'll um, link them below in my, um, my page below. Y'all can join. But um, Influencer is pretty much a, a company that will send you items to try. They also want you to review items that you've already tried on their site. Um, but when they send you things, they're free for you to try out to give your honest review. They sent me this bottle. And I was like, Lord, sometimes they'll send you full bottles of things. Sometimes they'll send you um, samples. I wasn't sure if they were going to send me a sample or if they were going to send me a full bottle. So people started um, receiving their bottles. And they got full bottles. And I was like, hmm, baby, let me go get my money back. So I returned my bottle. Whole time praying today. <laughs> they actually sent me a full bottle and they did. So I saved my 350 minus 20%, whatever that is. So thankful for that. Um, this is a scent, not for everybody, but I absolutely love it. If you like smelling like um, incense and what I imagine um, wealthy Middle Eastern people smelling like, that scent is for you. Um, this is uh, Valentino Volse Viva. I got this in a gift set. Um, I want to think it was around Christmas time. Uh, November, December, somewhere around there. But I had, when my, my son and I were in the mall, and I had just told him, yeah, I'm getting ready to go on a no buy. I'm not going to buy any more perfume. We were in Macy's, and I saw this. And <laughs> it hadn't been 15 minutes since I told him, 15, 20 minutes since I told him I was getting ready to go on a no buy. And I bought this gift set. So it's this bottle and a um a smaller bottle. Love it. Okay, this is reserved for that um Tom Ford in the, the little white container. I haven't put that back. I um, used it yesterday. Uh this is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Absolutely love this scent. Um, I believe I'm almost positive I got this in a gift set too. So I have a smaller bottle floating around somewhere, or I may, may have given it to somebody. I don't know. This is uh, Versace Bright Crystal. This is the only crystal I own. I really don't wear it that much. I don't know why. Maybe I need to revisit it. This, um, you know what, Dylan Blue. Love Dylan Blue, y'all. It's dusty. Um, I really want to get my hands on the um, Dylan Turquoise. I smelled it. It's really nice. I, I keep going on these no buys. I don't actually end up being no buys because, I mean... I live by uh, the phrase, treat yourself. Sometimes I treat myself a little bit too much. I know I don't deserve all this shit, but, you know, it is what it is. If I don't do it, who else going to do it? Um, this was my, I believe my first Versace um, purchase. 
the Versace Arrows for Femme. This is one of the ones I said I had, and I was using pretty heavy these, and this one, and the um, the drawer perfumes. And if you know, like, sorry about that, but the drawer pretty much, <laughs> they pretty much all smell the same. I believe only one of them that I own may not have tuberose in it, but they all smell really tuberose heavy. Um, this is um, Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth. I haven't used very much of that, but I do like that scent. This next one, um, what is this? The Flower Bomb, y'all ain't telling nobody, I can't say. <laughs> Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb do, I had to put in some light in it because I can't see. Okay, we're almost done. This one is the Flower Bomb Midnight. I um, love that too. Y'all get old. I can't get down there. Uh, <laughs> this one is the Bomb Bomb. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, This little bitty baby. <laughs> this is Georgeoff. Cos Cosmorati uh, Lyra. I love this. Um, Georgeoff is kind of expensive. Um, so I got a little small bottle. It'll do me for now, you know, when I get ready to or when I need to. I can always purchase a larger bottle. Um, this is Mon Perry by YSL. We all know her. She's that girl. Oh, oh yeah. This is uh, Lieb. Um, that some people pronounce it Libre. Um, I don't know the correct pronunciation, but I'll say Lieb. Um, of course, my YSL. This is when um, I was still purchasing full bottles. I want to think I got this in a gift set, though, with this and a smaller bottle that I know I gave away um, as a gift. Well, not as a gift, but, you know, just to uh, let my friend have it because I had such a big bottle and it's damn near still full. Um, this is another Mon Perry by YSL. I want to think all right, it's the last one, y'all. Um, classic Black Opium by YSL. Um, yeah, I haven't used very much of it, but I absolutely do love this scent. Um, but yeah, that is all of the perfumes in my display case. Um, I will probably make another video later on uh, with the samples, decants, and um, the travel sprays that I have. But um, I want to go ahead and thank you all for watching. Um, I ask you again to like, comment, and subscribe, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Um, I also ask that you check out my friend Ashley's um, website as well as her um, website, Black Opal, Black Opal Home, excuse me, dot com. All the information will be laid down below. Uh, thank you again. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.